Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India session we will talk about the action learning and as in the previous sessions we will talk about the leadership and the uh, different uh, dimensions of these uh, team effectiveness. And the question arises that whenever we are going for these uh, action learning, uh, we have to also understand that exactly uh, what components are involved uh, in this action learning program is concerned, right. So, therefore, in this uh, session the contents will be the components of the action learning is there type of action learning, the action learning process uh, itself, uh, the principles of action learning model, action learning cycle, uh, learning sets and the four components of this action learning theory and five tips for the running the action learning groups. And as usual, there will be the case study, research papers and the uh, book recommendations will be there, right. So, basically we understand that is the uh, from the name itself it is uh, very clear that is the, it involves a small group working on the real problems is there. Now, you see the organizations are facing a lot of problems uh, on the basis of uh, uh, that uh, whatever the knowledge uh, the employees are uh, having and as in the era of the internet we find that is the it is becoming the very very uh, easy to gain the knowledge is there right. But uh, when we talk about the efficiency or the performance is concerned then we find that, that, that the delivery is not there that performance uh, expected performance outcome is uh, not there. So, that is why to develop that particular group the the, the group knowledge wise is competitive and develop its uh, the skills right. A small group uh, will be taken and that will be they will be working on the real problems are there and uh, then the taken actions uh, and learning as an individuals as a team and as a organization. Now, this process is also helpful for those those who are writing the case studies and then they find that is the whenever uh, this type of these uh, uh, a small group of the uh, people if, if you are the academician then you can develop these case studies also and even if you are the industrialist. Uh, so, you can work on this uh, small real problems uh, taking the action and the learning that what is the outcome is there may be related with the industrial relations may be related with the interpersonal relations or the human relations is concerned. So, it develops the creative flexible and successful strategies uh, right uh, and so therefore, in that case we will be able to identify that what will work for my organization and this action learning solves the problems and develop leaders and uh, now you see if it is it should be a continuous process if it is a continuous process then whatever the problems are there that you will be developing these uh, practice that uh, small small problems you are taking uh, to taking at the shop floor level uh, you are working on that then you identify certain new dimensions you identify certain new uh, uh, the problems or barriers and then you come out with that solutions. So, it enhances the creativity, but uh, the beauty of this particular concept is this that is whenever you are having these uh, um, the uh, action learning process. Uh, that is customized one. So, therefore, you learn uh, uh, from this particular uh, process uh, uh, that is how to solve my department, my sections, my organizations, my groups uh, uh, that uh, particular problem which uh, on which you have done this experimental learning. So, this uh, process helps a lot uh, in, uh, uh, in the sense uh, uh, that is the if a, a manager, manager is having any particular problem, he works with the group. So, it a personal effectiveness will be and the productivity of that particular uh, group or department that will be increasing. Similarly, the reflection to enhance the learning from the personal experiences as I already mentioned that is in this process. Now, you see that is the outcome we are not here that is the focusing only on the outcome or increasing the productivity. Here we are also understanding that what are the reasons to be uh, introduced to increase the productivity is concerned. Then we are also having this uh, personal leadership and soft skill style to work together because it is a group of team as we I, I have mentioned in the previous slide that is the it will be the group of people will be there, uh, there and uh, therefore, the person who is the coordinator who is the leader he will also develop the confidence and uh, that is the ideas which will be generated that will be the self expressed idea. 
and uh, naturally in that case it will be the, uh, the suppose a, an employee uh, is working with the certain assumptions, beliefs, attitudes right and then, then he finds that there is no productivity. Right? But when he goes through this action learning process, he develops uh, the diff may, may develop a different set of assumptions and beliefs are there. And this augment of the awareness uh, about the self right, and the others and that will be helping us to solve that particular uh, uh, problem or come out with the solution that is maybe related to the absenteeism, productivity, job satisfaction, whatever it will be there and therefore, the, this experience will uh, give us the benefit. Similarly, uh, that will be for the individual level. Now, when we talk about the organizational level, naturally the what is the vision a focus? The goal was to improve the organizational issues. Hmm. So, this creativity was developed to either to increase the productivity or, uh, or to making these uh, a new product development or identifying the certain uh, HR issues uh, or developing the market problems uh, solutions. Uh, so, therefore, it is enhancing the business of the organization. So, overall the purpose of this model is uh, not only the individual benefit, but also including the organizational benefit is also there right. And uh, uh, this type of the experimental process, uh, you can uh, uh, understand the beauty of uh, this particular uh, uh, the uh, concept is this, that is the whatever the challenges are there, that uh, the collectively they will identify the solutions are there. And when we are developing this type of the innovative approaches, so they ultimately what will happen it is if it is a continuous process it will develop a culture also. So, that is uh, self and the culture which will be by initiation, initiation by the set strategic directions of the company as itself only. So, it will leverage the action learning process for effective uh, succession planning also. So, therefore, when the members which you are involving in your group and team they are also learning and the group and team members uh, they might be at the at the, uh, the junior positions and therefore, when you are carrying forward this particular style of the culture and practices of action learning then you are also developing the succession planning is there because the, the team members they will also learn they will have that particular experience that is how the group and team was formed and then how that uh, particular problem was uh, uh, solved and then how this uh, action was taken and, uh, and uh, as a result of which the overall organizational performance effectiveness OE organizational effectiveness and that that was improves is there. So, they, so now how exactly uh, we, uh, we go for this action learning process is there. So, there are these components of the action learning program and the first is this uh, uh, where the proper stress uh, solve a problem related to the employees is there. Now, here uh, like uh, the action learning team then action learning process action taken and action learning coach is there. Now, here I would also like to mention that is we have to also see the culture of the organization. If the organization culture uh, um, is learned and that is a learning organization, organizational learning when the manager is having all these issues then definitely in that case he will be able to identify the real problem. Many times what happens that is a manager is focusing on only on these uh, the symptoms of the problems and not on the real problems is there and therefore, in that case uh, it, it becomes very very uh, necessary that is the person is uh, focusing on the, the real problem is there. So, it should not be the tip of the iceberg which one will be focusing and when he is able to identify the real problem. I would like to give an example like uh, uh, the absenteeism. Hmm? So, absenteeism is what? It is a problem or it is a symptom of the problem? Yes, you are right. It is a symptom of the problem because the why we have to identify not only what is happening, but we have to also identify why it is happening. And when we talk about that why it is happening and then we will come to know that why absenteeism is there. I would like to share my experience when I was the labor officer and that time the absenteeism was uh, uh, 20 percent and the normal standard uh, absenteeism rate is 14 percent that time it was the there in textile industry. So, that uh, why, uh, why 6 percent so much excess is there right. Our manpower strength was also so, about the uh, 6000 and then you can understand and when we are talking about the 6 percent is there. So, therefore, uh, then we started to identify the problem is there right. So, therefore, the uh, ulti ultimately we have to understand that is this absenteeism was it was uh, because of the organization culture or practices this was a problem or there was a problem uh, there was any other problem 
and uh, on basis of this action learning style, I am uh, talking about the 35 years back uh, uh, this uh, exercise we have done and then, then we have found out that is the double earning was there. So, a problem can be a work project where the we have to understand that is the what is the employees issues and the employees issues where that is a double earning. Double learning means that is there was no the shift rotation and therefore, those who were into the uh, first shift they were working uh, into the night shift of the any other organization or they were the security guards or something like this. Those who were into the third shift, uh, so in the morning they were uh, selling the vegetables and all and uh, uh, running that particular uh, uh, the shop of the vegetables and working on the others because their income was less. So, therefore, they were compensating like this. So, employees issues identified where the double earning was there right and therefore, we have to identify the solution. So, it was an opportunity or a task is there. So, uh, then we have formed a group of the labor officer uh, and then also the union members, uh, the representative of the workers and then the government officers also and therefore, then we have um, the team was formed. So, team was formed with the industry, academia and government and these group members participated in this particular process uh, right uh, that they were all were the responsible persons and therefore, that they, they, they this problem and this problem was not for our unit only, this problem for the nature of industry that is a textile industry was there. So, they, therefore, it is the in, we have involved the different uh, uh, the stakeholders and those stakeholders then they were working uh, and interacting and uh, that uh, uh, what what type of uh, uh, these uh, uh, the brainstorming sessions meetings were done and then uh, they, then we also talked to the uh, workers uh, involved the workers also that is uh, now this is the organizational problem. So, then how it is to be done. So, therefore, in that case it was uh, uh, all all stakeholders. Now, please understand here that is the when you are identified the problem you have to involve the all the relevant stakeholders. So, then you can come out to solve the problem is there and this is the learning process uh, which actions you want to take unless and until you do not. Now, now you see uh, it will be surprising for you to know that is many organizations at the top management level only they take the decisions. Uh, they, and they they find out that is this uh, they make assumptions basically their belief is there that this is the reason and this is this will be the solution will work right and then then uh, uh, if uh, the management is well experienced one there will be no problem but otherwise there will be the mismatch will be there right so uh, at, therefore in that case it, it is important that is the the, the, the team member. Nowadays, we are talking about the leaderless teams right. So, that is the coach uh, who is uh, designated to control and coach the uh, uh, members of this action learning team because you are involving workers also and therefore, you are involving these uh, the, the representatives that is a union if it there is a union, union also is there. So, the person who is uh, working as a HRD representation right development representation it is not it, it, it is not that that is a disciplinary actions are to be taken right. So, therefore, in that case the action learning coach plays a vital role in leading the groups in the right direction is there and then uh, when when this participative involvement uh, uh, understanding uh, the research orientation right. So, when these helps the group members to reflect on the real problem is there and accordingly then we can take the right type of the action is there. So, the, here the word is very interesting is used is the action coach and that action coach uh, that, that uh, he will decide about the direction about that particular team in which the industry, academia and government all three uh, stakeholders are involved. So, therefore, what will happen once uh, uh, there will be a, a team will be there and then definitely the team is having the different uh, now these uh, stages right. So, sometimes it is the workers will not support right. So, that that is called the storming stage is there. So, that entire team works on a single project right. So, therefore, in that case uh, uh, that in the team project right we have to you have to convince the others that decide the norms right and then the organization will de uh, decide that is the how and uh, who will be the participants uh, in this particular team will be there and uh, then uh, on the basis of the findings of the team the organization will take actions and team recommends uh, uh, that how it is to be implemented is there. But when we talk about the individual is there, so therefore, it is the individual uh, so uh, that is a coach is there. So, participants will be self selected and individuals will take action and they implement the solution is there. Uh, now, when to take these uh, team project action and when to take the individual project 
direct action is there. Now, you see that is the, if it is a responsibility of the one department only, one section only and you are having the small group of people. Uh, for example, uh, in IT industries, in IT industries you will find it is uh, five uh, you know, team members are there and uh, the leader is there. So, then I will propose uh, the here the individual project action is required by that particular coach or the team leader is there. But when the organization is early organization, large enterprise is there, then definitely in that case the persons uh, uh, to understand first uh, to the, the characteristics of these uh, the real problem right. So, therefore, the representations are required. Otherwise, how? Otherwise, uh, we will not be able to uh, reach to the right uh, uh, customized uh, solution. So, therefore, in that case, uh, when the group is small, individual action can taken can be there. When the group is large, then you can go for that is a uh, team building uh, action uh, learning process that can be import. Uh, it can be involved, right? Now, so therefore, in that case, it depends on the what is the issue is there. It will be issue based. Uh, you have to decide whether it will be the team based or it is an individual based. Uh, team will be there to action learning program. Now, once you have formulated the team, right, then accordingly the three stages of the action learning process that is the we always know. Uh, I have discussed with you in the leadership also that is about the negotiation and you can make this uh, relationship with that negotiation that is a pre-negotiation, negotiation and post-negotiation. So, here is also that is always the uh, preparation, team meeting and follow up activities will be there and there, therefore, in that case uh, uh, here because we, we want to make this uh, uh, the uh, action uh, before we take the action our preparation should be very strong. So, therefore, in the organizations what we do? that is we, we are learning the projects and uh, uh, meeting with these uh, building uh, and uh, then the cohesiveness that uh, will be developed with the help of the building trust. Uh, among the team members it is very very important is there. So, therefore, that rapport between the participants and organizations will be developed and then uh, accordingly there will be the team will be there. Now, it is very uh, interesting that is uh, what team do you form and uh, therefore, here uh, uh, that challenge will be that is this building trust and the repo. If it takes the time in the team members itself, for example, the union members and the uh, the management representatives uh, for solving any particular problem. If there is no uh, trust is there, then there will be uh, the more uh, time will be taken uh, to identify the problem is there. Then uh, the team will be having the meeting and taking the actions will be there and team will be having this brainstorming session uh, right and therefore, uh, they will discuss. So, that that is a pre phase pre phase is very important and it is very I will like to suggest here please read the book uh, the Stephen P. Robbins book on the group and team and therefore, you will find that is the that is the pre phase of that particular team building is becoming very very uh, important and uh, why, why it is so. So, therefore, if uh, there are certain uh, um, uh, misbeliefs uh, or the misperception uh, for example, uh, the workers against management, management against worker or the uh, management uh, against the government, government against the management. So, therefore, in that case all team members they will having that uh, particular uh, uh, the track, track will be developed, uh, they will uh, develop a platform common platform where all are having the uh, same um, uh, mindset. So, in the selection uh, team selection process uh, that is the we have to for example, when we are talking about the government. So, naturally the from the government representatives will be from the labor office uh, only relevant office uh, officers will be there and then they will be about uh, they, uh, they will be talking about the labor laws which are required to be implemented by the government is there. Management will be there, they will be talk about the organizational culture and practices will be there, workers will be there, they will be talking about their issues and their practices uh, uh, they, they, that will be there. So, therefore, that diverse background of the team members is very very uh, necessary is there. Now, once uh, this uh, team has been formed and the actions are uh, uh, they are selected, then then decision on the implementation of action learning teams is their solutions, right? So here uh, again, I will classify into the pre phase phase and the post phase is there. So the implementation of the decision is there. Always please be careful before you take any particular decision whether you that particular soil is ready or not. Right. So, if your soil is ready then definitely you can take that particular uh, pre phase uh, uh, your pre phase preparation stage that has to be required to be very very strong. If your preparation phase and uh, uh, that that is uh, very strong then definitely in that case uh, the implementation uh, of this solution to that particular problem that will be becoming very very 
easy. Now, what care is to be taken that we will understand with the help of the principles of action learning model is there that is at the time of taking the action what principles are to be followed. Now, these learning experience should be centered around finding an answer or a solution to a problem that exists in the real world is there like I was talking about that is a double income is there. Now, this is the real world problem. Now, if you are working on that real world problem what solution you will give because if you stop uh, uh, their earning right then the, that will be not a right solution. Because that if you stop their earning then uh, how their family will survive. I remember uh, that is the uh, one day payment for the three days of medical leave right that was given that time also in labor laws that particular amendment this was an issue was there right. So, therefore, in that case uh, when you are in involving all the representatives, so they will be voluntarily processed and the learner must be willing to learn is there. So, therefore, those who are the workers uh, they should be the part of that particular team. So, therefore, action learning which you are going to the highly social activity which you are uh, taking. So, you will have the uh, developing the individuals knowledge base and the skills sets. Right. So, therefore, uh, uh, please involve, involve those workers or the, those uh, uh, team members, uh, uh, those who, who are going to affect uh, by your decision is there, because your typical action learning program right that, that is the that, that we will require to do. Now, this this can be in a trial basis like here the it has been mentioned that is that program uh, that can last between the 4 to 9 months is there. So, you can develop a training also if there is a particular skill development is there. So, we have to also understand that is the, this particular action learning will be maybe for the behavior and maybe for the skill it can be there. Now, what are the stages are there in the action learning uh, styles are there. So, here we will talk about a case for the action is there right and therefore, uh, here uh, that, that is a case study as I mentioned earlier only that is there it will be like a case study will be there developing a case study is there and therefore, uh, it, it will be the uh, continuous process right uh, and uh, here you will find uh, planning doing checking and act PDC a cycle of implement is there that is a planning doing checking and act is there. So, therefore, a case for action is there uh, and uh, this is the um, gain knowledge right right whatever you uh, you first you gain the knowledge uh, and then agree on the new behavior. Now, now, now you see that is the we have to we have to agree that we have to identify the certain solution to this particular problem is there and therefore, you will apply a and a practice a behavior is there that is a what type of the practice or behavior you would you like to implement uh, here and then the receiving the feedback uh, from the coach uh, that is the who is the that particular uh, uh, coach or the team leader is there. So, so, when you will implement for the 4 months, 8 months, 9 months, uh, then definitely always there, there will there will be the uh, storming will be always there because the change uh, always changes there is a resistance to change is there and therefore, in that case the, uh, that you, you have to man that refreeze the change is there according to Levin's uh, uh, change management model is concerned. So, therefore, uh, you will get certain feedback. So, then on that particular feedback again brainstorming will be there, meetings will be there, action taken uh, 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 meetings will be there and then, then uh, uh, so th therefore, uh, the people will be those who are getting affected they will come out uh, with their problems that is uh, if uh, you are implementing this solution then this will be the problems will be there. So, therefore, that is again in feedback then again the corrective action will be taken and on like, like this you will find uh, that is the uh, we will having that is the PDCA cycle is there. So, always uh, uh, on the basis of these your feedback that will che uh, checking will be there again you have to take the corrective actions are to be taken that is the act will be there again you will plan something and that is the way the, the organizational life cycle uh, it goes further. Now, here we will take the one by one the steps uh, that is the how how the learner the feels about is there that is the team members understand the business case for the action is there. Now, many times uh, uh, those who are uh, the members team members they, they are the convenient members convenient members means they are not having the much knowledge about that particular uh, uh, the issue that is to be avoided. 
we have to see that is uh, we are taking those uh, uh, members uh, those who understand the business case for the action is there right and therefore it is has to be that is the uh, now you see the, it is not the internal stakeholders but it is the external also so there will be the competitors so best practices benchmarking practices we should know benchmarking practices for example this rotation of shift is it possible or not is it uh, 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 already practiced into the other uh, cities in other industries uh, or the other uh, uh, places right. So, therefore, in that case best practices when we identify and then the financial benchmarks and the voice of the customers the what we need to improve is there. So, therefore, naturally it is going to be affect your uh, financial aspects right. In the transferring knowledge uh, what most corporate trainers to do best is that is the classrooms are best designed to accomplish is there right. So, therefore, convincing actually gain knowledge is what that is the convincing and therefore, you are having the uh, that is the convincing them that is yes this particular change is required because this if this problem can be solved only by bringing this particular change. So, therefore, these books, websites and the primary data, secondary data all this data you will be using and sharing in the maybe in the classroom nowadays um, definitely we can talk about that is the uh, uh, it, it will be online uh, uh, process will be there and therefore, the people will be easily able to um, gain that particular knowledge that why this particular action is required and uh, when action is required then definitely they have to change their behavior. So, they have to agree on the new behavior right. So, therefore, in that case uh, intention is the beginning of the change and the, the guitar instructor may teach a chord of position or the scale on the flat board by itself that is useless knowledge it only becomes useful when practice is there and another example is of the swimming is there unless and until you will not enter into the water you will not understand the swimming. So, therefore, apply and practice the new behavior will be there first you 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 you, you should have that motivation that willingness that is yes this particular change we uh, change in behavior we want to bring and that is why uh, these uh, whenever we are talking about that is the shift to the rotation of the shift you can understand how difficult task it will be. So, imagining and learning to play a musical instrument learning any new skill is much the same way this team needs to practice problem solving and experiment will be there. So, here the team also has to understand that is how to handle these issues are there. The role of the sensei has become understood as an element of the Toyota culture. A sensei is essentially a personal coach and mentor is there, right. So, therefore, one to one. So, many times there are the issues where you have to interact one to one and have to understand. Like in the case of the shift rotation I was talking about and then what is what was important is this that is the, uh, the financial uh, aspects. So, they, he was he is the only earning member and then he is having the responsibility of the parents also, spouse also, children also right. So, therefore, in that case uh, uh, definitely uh, that uh, they will require a personal interaction one to one interaction is there and when there is a personal coach and so he will be able to understand and he will be, he will be able to bring that part particular uh, uh, information uh, to the team that is that these are the issues our these are the workers those who are really facing these particular problems. So, the cycle becomes obvious after each lesson learned now, now, now somebody will be having certain medical issues then in that case uh, that we have to learn that is it is not uh, that is everybody is having this financial issue. So, the team receives the feedback from the coach and then goes on to the learn to the new next element of development how to develop a balanced scorecard. Now, now you see somebody is having financial, somebody is having the social, somebody is having the economical. Now, I would like to give another example that is the one fitter was there who was in, uh, newly wedded and then earlier he was a star performer and then he starts remaining absent. Right. So, what was the reason? The reason was this that is the his wife, wife was from the village and she was not ready to uh, live alone uh, uh, in the when, when the worker was on the night shift was there. Now, this type of the issues will come special cause will be there. So, therefore, in that case we have to find out that is the team and their coach should map out of a series of 10 to 20 steps uh, and that an individual will learn then do the gain the feedback and reflection. It is not it is not the instant that is the you went there you ident you talk to the people you come back and you introduce the strategy please do not do that do not make haste. So, therefore, positive reinforcement from the coach and the natural environment that will support. So, as a team practice the skills of continuous improvement they have begun to 
an impact on the actual performance is there and whenever they will having that uh, impact of the actual performance. Uh, so, that trial has to be given they have to be asked to work for the some certain period of time and when they will be working for the certain period of time then definitely they will be able to come out with that particular solution and when they will come out uh, with that particular solution uh, then solution will be implemented. So, action learning sets will be there and they will be describing the problem as pursued by the action learning and then the discussing the problem by allowing the each member of the action learning set to the ask the questions are there. So, naturally then there will be the uh, there will be the rounds of the meetings right. So, that action learning sets will be developed right and this is action uh, learning sets uh, that will be explored that is the how this collectively uh, uh, because we are having the representatives from the all the parties. So, therefore, the problems are now uh, identified now these problems are identified now then in that case we have to identify that is the uh, these are the top 5 problems are there which we have to focus because most of the um, uh, workers they are having this particular problem other team members they are having the particular problem is there. So, then they you will be discussing by these particular problems and then uh, uh, every every member will be because they uh, like the workers specially the unions uh, you have to allow allow them uh, normally what happens many times the leadership style it does not allow to participate them and does not talk to uh, uh, that that is their real problems are there because there might be that is affecting the organizational interest. But the, what is required is balancing the imbalances and therefore, in that case even that what problems they are saying uh, that has no concern many times with the organization, but those days have gone. Now, the, the individual's problem is also the part of the organization's problem, right. So, therefore, you, you, you have to access uh, and discover during the process that is the what has been the actions should be taken and evaluating the outcome that was the produced by the solution is there. And therefore, whenever you are going for the uh, taking out this particular solution, then you will be having the reevaluating the problem uh, that, that, that is a, as I was mentioning uh, that is a, it is a continuous cycle is there. So, reevaluating re the problem and solving the method and determining if it is an effective is there and uh, many times that your solution uh, that you have assumed because you, uh, you have taken those solutions on the basis of certain beliefs and that may be wrong right. So, therefore, in that case uh, we, we have to also see that there are certain theoretical uh, uh, concepts that we the support uh, that we, we are supposed to uh, incorporate uh, whenever we are talking about uh, a problem or providing the solutions are there right. So, first and foremost is that is the a non technical problem behavioral problem right must pertain to either the strategic or tactical based uh, that scenario or issues are there. Now, now, now you see uh, another example I would like to give of the COVID-19 and then in that case you will find there will be the non technical this is a non technical problem will be there and the people are working from uh, home and then some of them are able to work some of them are not able to work there they are not able to reach uh, to their organizations uh, especially when we talk about the manufacturing. Uh, is there. So, what government has done government has taken the very positive actions and then uh, then making the arrangements allowing them uh, uh, then having these uh, alternate working like this uh, therefore, one uh, one, uh, one by one that the that type of the uh, the manufacturing process that has been started. So, there will be the social distancing and all is there. So, therefore, this is the entry state for the problem is there right. Now, it is the uh, advisor normally the organization and uh, HR manager who will facilitate the set and presents the guidance for the problem solving process is there that is on the basis of this discussion the team is there group has done group has discussed and then that, that advisor will be there and that advisor involves the assessment and the analysis of the problem is there reflection the formulation of a possible solution or the hypoth assumption hypothesis means what that is an assumption is there that is the if we will go by this particular solution then definitely we will be able to identify the solution to the problem is there. So, right from the identifying the problems to relate to the client that is the person who is really getting this uh, um, uh, facing this particular uh, problem is that he is a client. Uh, so, therefore, in that case uh, that HR will be giving the advisor and the solutions will be proposed is there. So, the, therefore, in this case uh, it is important that is to sign up for the action learning is there right. So, it will be only possible successfully it will be only possible because that, that is the it is the good idea that process for joining an action learning group be a voluntarily one. Now, now you see normally what happens organizations prefer uh, these uh, uh, members those who, whom the organization likes. 
So, th that should not be the biasness. Eh? So, therefore, there should not be shortcuts uh, uh, in uh, perceptions. Uh, and if there is a shortcuts in perception, then definitely the individual who, to whom you have selected, if that is the wrong one, then the whole process what we have talked about that will be uh, totally waste. So, therefore, individual should choose to sign up for the action learning that is the voluntarily he comes out and that says that is the I want to do this uh, to be a part of this particular study or the particular uh, identifying the problem and uh, providing the solutions is there. But I can understand that practically if there is no one. Uh, that is who is voluntarily coming, then the, it is the responsibility of the organization to fix up the responsibility, right. And therefore, in that case, uh, uh, then that will be the individual that uh, we will be uh, convinced to take the responsibility is to be there, right. And uh, because there, there is a organizational responsibility also. Now, here uh, that is a too much attention to where we have a meeting, uh, this is not an option when you are running the action learning is there, right. So, therefore, in that case, please pay attention. Normally, we do not pay too much attention, but what is required is that is the environment, right. And therefore, if you are having this, uh, um, what I will suggest that is uh, please visit to the workplaces and talk to them right if it is possible and therefore in that case in spite of calling them to the boardroom and the boardroom meetings are there and th that that will that environment will be giving the more formal environment which we which uh, may not be the really uh, you we may not come out with the uh, real problem is there uh, i won't mind to visit that colony or the place where these workers are living and then uh, what type of the environment they are having and therefore in that case uh, that environment creation of uh, the enabling environment so if you are a good Good enabler, be a good enabler to create that particular environment. So, work with a skilled facilitator is there, and the facilitator will not model of the skills that others are the expected to learn and use in uh, right. So, therefore, in that case, uh, that, that facilitator should be having that is the skilled one is there, right. So, who, who knows that is the if in a given situation because of his knowledge, attitude, skills, and experience, he is able to find out that is the what will work here and what will not work there, right. And therefore, many times it is not the only qualification, but the experience is necessary. So, run an introductory session on the dialogues is there and therefore, uh, now opening of the dialogue, this is the major responsibility. If the opening of dialogue is done uh, very uh, 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 effectively, then, then your teams have, have problems are solved, but in the beginning itself uh, in the dialogue problems are there, then that will be remain for a uh, long time, right? not forever, but long time. Be rigorous with the time and the time and how you use it critically for the success of an action learning session. Everyone must have an equal slot of it and do not be afraid of being up, uh, uh, upfront about it. Now, now here you see that is the yes so naturally because this is a problem. We are working on the problem. We are not working on any reward, right. So, therefore, in that case there will be the different opinions will be there and therefore, everyone must will be uh, should be given the equal slot, right. So, that he can talk about his problem. He can talk about his uh, uh, that particular issues on basis uh, with this um, problem is uh, standing. If otherwise, what will happen? That is the if you are not giving the enough time, uh, then in that case, uh, that problem will not be able to solve. So I am sure that is the with the help of uh, these principles, actions, learning program, uh, you you will be able to uh, build uh, the team and that the team which will be working for these identifying the problem and they, by taking these actions. Uh, you will be able to solve uh, these uh, any problem or uh, you can work on the developmental process also in, in case of uh, uh, these uh, uh, the issues of the organizations. Uh, as usual, this is the case study which you can refer and uh, these are the papers which have been suggested uh, go through these papers uh, and uh, these papers will be helping you um, and these are the book recommendations for this particular aspects um, these are the references which uh, from which the material is been uh, 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 delivered to you uh, and uh, there are certain materials which will be giving you the more understanding about this particular topic thank you